to everyone out there. This is Dr. Destiny. I am sitting here in my free space. This is my gym. And, uh, you know, I have done my workout earlier today, so I'm just sitting here. This, this is a place that I come sometimes for meditation, for quiet moments, time that I can spend just being me. And it's that place where I can sit with the divine higher power and just allow him to refresh my mind and renew and restore and whatever he does, he does it so well within me. I can only say that for myself. And so I'm sitting in the gym. I'm not working out right now, but uh, I have some notes. Y'all know when I bring notes, I want to talk to you guys out there, right? Well, today, this is what I want to talk to you guys about. I want to give you some self-care tips and some reminders of how or why or if you are taking care of yourself. I'm going to give you some reminders why you should. So you welcome people to my channel. This is Dr. Destiny and my YouTube channel is Destiny Forever Walks PhD. Just come in, y'all know me already. I'm all over YouTube, somewhere, somebody else's house, somebody else's place, somebody else's live stream, and somebody comment section. I be all over the place. I love communicating. I love uh, interacting with people. I love helping people to become their best and better version. I just love inspiring people, motivating, helping them to be able to elevate themselves into a, a whole nother realm of uh, higher consciousness. But anyway, let me ask you a question. I mean, that's a, well, basically what we talk about is self-care. And uh, self-care is very significant, it's very important. If you have not yet figured that out, then you need to figure that out, that self-care matters. So then Dr. Destin, what is self-care? You should know. It's caring about your own self. How many times you go around caring for other things and other people? And then you put yourself on the back burner all the time. You say, well, you know, get to me later. You know, I got to go take care of this and that. Stop. Stand still. Look at yourself. Get in the mirror if you have to and, and discover that person that's looking at you in that mirror. That person said, I need you. I need you. So, I'm talking to you men out there as well as you women out there. Y'all better listen to Dr. Destiny. I don't come with no junk. I come with the truth that I know that has been instilled, has been you know, deposited within me from the divine higher power, creator of this universe, God, whoever you want to call him. I know who I am. I know my purpose. I know my destiny. I know, I know, I know. I just know. And he can use me because he knows that I'm going to tell you just like I got it from him. Whatever the message that he gives to me, I'm going to give it to you just like he gives it to me. If you don't like it, if it doesn't agree with you or anything to that nature, then nobody's holding you captive here on my channel, baby. You can just go wherever you need to be free, wherever you find your freedom at, wherever you find your ministry at, wherever you find your tutoring at, your mentoring at, where you find where you got peace within yourself, where you find where you are totally living out whoever you want to be. I'm talking about self-care. I'm talking about self-care. I'm just going to give you some tips. These are for men, and these are for my women as well, my brothers and my sisters, my kings and my queens. Now listen to this. I'm going to ask this question. I want you to Think on this question very hard before answering. Because a lot of times we can just jump up and answer things so quickly without, you know, uh, thinking about what is being asked. But what, who is the most important person in your life? So, listen to the question. Who is the most important person in your life. Now ask yourself that. Dr. Destiny, who is the most important person in my life? Make it personal. Now, I 
know a lot of you are the answer. Oh, my, my, my spouse, oh, my significant other, oh, my children, oh, my grandchildren, my mom, my dad. Who's the most important person in your life? If you're thinking on that level, hey, that's okay. But listen, you should answer that question saying, I, 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 me, 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 I, 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 I am the most important person in my life, but you are important. See, that's where we have gotten away from a lot of times, thinking that we have to take care of everybody else and give our energy, our time, our space, our bubble, allow people to come in, and we allow ourselves to be nurturers, especially when we are nurturers or feel like we got to be protectors or, or providers. That's what you mean, you got to do very well a lot of times. And we feel like we always got to be taking care of somebody to feel like we are somebody. Do that make sense? Taking care of somebody to make you feel like you're somebody. But then take care of yourself because you are somebody. Your life matters. You are valuable. You are here on this earth because you have a divine appointment. You have a divine purpose. You have plans that the Creator is already predestined to you before the foundation of the earth. And He put Himself in you and He calls you to become the most valuable, the most special, the most absolutely amazing person in this whole wide world. And that's why you should be the most important person in your own life. Your life matters. Your self matters. Your self-worth matters. You love yourself. You take everything that the divine higher power God has given you. He has created you within his likeness and his image. And he blew his own breath within to your nostrils. Baby, let me tell you, you became a living soul and that is told in Genesis, people. You are the most important person in your life. And you got to start seeing that. you got to start getting to that level. Men, women, children, whoever listens to this video. I'm speaking truth from the divine higher power. You are important. And don't let nobody, baby, tell you that you, you're being selfish. No. You're being you. Because I'll keep telling you people, you got to be you, do you, for you. Say it with me. Be you. Do you for you. That's what you need to be saying. And you're doing it for yourself. You're being yourself. And it's all about you. Now, that's not being selfish. You know, if you get to a place where you're just always about, you know, this and I got to have this. And you're never pouring back into anyone else's life. You're never taking the time out to stop and see if your brother, your sister, whoever, your neighbor, whoever may be that needs some help. Or you're never giving back to humanity, giving back to society. Then you are selfish. It's all about, give me, give me, I take it, I take it. But you're never pouring back. When you receive, be free to give back and give with a cheerful heart. That's what the Bible tells us about, a cheerful heart. Let me give you these self-tips -tip right quick, okay? And listen to this. I'm going to start with self-care tips. Number one, this is what you need to be doing. Strengthen your self-care muscles. You got the power because it's within you. Strengthen those muscles. Strengthen your self-care muscles. That's number one. Number two, don't give up easily. First try, I can't do it. Ain't got time for this. I'm too tired now. This is just not me. You're giving up too quickly. Try, try, and try again. The more you try, the power within you will build up and say, I can do it. I can do it. The little train said, that little engine, that little engine that was trying to pull those cars over the mountain, he said, I think I can. 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 He kept going up and up that mountain. So he pulled that train to the very top of that mountain. So don't give up so easily. That's number two. Number three, try to make self-care a routine. Practice it. I know it's hard sometimes because we don't practice it. We always jump out waiting for the phone call or waiting for someone to tell us, I need you to go take care of this. I need you to go do this. I need you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always about somebody. And we got so accustomed to waiting for somebody to come in there to, to tell us what we need to do. You don't need nobody telling you what to do. You don't need nobody guiding you or pulling your strings or pulling you on a puppet. You don't need nobody to do that. You make a daily routine instead of waiting around for somebody to give you a plan, to give you a, some kind of assignment for that day. You make your own routine. You make your own assignment. You value yourself. You put yourself first. You take care of yourself. 
You make that a routine every day. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna pamper myself. I'm, 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 I'm gonna flex these muscles. Or I'm going out here. I'm gonna get me a pedicure or manicure. I'm going out here. I'm, I'm gonna just do me. Buy me the best suit, me. Come on, yeah, dress up. I like a man to dress up. Yes, and you women go out there, dad, baby, show yourself. Make it a be a, be a woman in a woman way. Show yourself. You know, keep that body right and tight. So you make sure that you try to make self-care a routine, something that you're doing every day, something for yourself. Buying yourself something, taking yourself to lunch, taking yourself out, just, just enjoying your life. You know, just go out and be you and do you. Go on a vacation if it's by yourself. It's okay. Spend that money and get what you always wanted. You boys like toys, you know, your motorcycles and all those things and, 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 and your big trucks and, and, and you women, you like, Jewelry, diamonds, rings, all those things. Pedicures, manicures, <laughs> facials. Do it. But make it a routine of something that you can do every day. Like I said, now it's not being selfish at all. And you ain't got to worry about saying, well, you know, I'm being selfish. And people say, you're just selfish. No, but you know you're giving your do, your do, do <laughs> to whoever they need it. But people pay it for. Number, number, that was number three. Try to make self-care a routine. Number four, know which self-care works for you. As I said, know you, be you, do you, for you. Just, just know what works for you. And you just know that this is what's working, and then you try to improve on making it work even better for you. Because the more of you that is wholesome and healthy and full of energy, full of life, full of positivity, the more that you can pour into someone else's empty cup. So you make sure your self-care works for you. It's working. I'm getting up every day. I'm doing my exercise. I'm, I'm, I'm getting this body right. I'm getting this body tight. Yes, I'm feeding my, I'm feeding my, my, my life with positive energy. I'm, and, 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 and getting my vibes all lifted up. Yeah, I'm doing all this for me. But it's not just for me. I'm, I'm doing it so I can pour off into somebody else's life. Because you want to elevate people. So that's number four. Know which self-care works for you. Like I said, you got to know your people. You gotta be you, and you gotta do you. And like I said, be you, do you, and it's all for you. It's all for you, because you're building up this, this, this place, you're building up this space, and you're building up all this within you, so you can get yourself right in your mind, your mindset right, you can, you can walk into the positivity, you just know who you are, your presence, it changed the whole room when you walk in there, everybody's like, they sit up and like, whoa, power just walked up in this room, they gonna feel it, baby. So number five, and some of which things work in the past for you, and those things that didn't work for you, examine those things. Just take out that paper, you know, you should have notes already. You should always be writing notes and taking notes, that things that happened throughout your day, throughout your life, and putting these things in plan. You gotta go back and look at them. This is evaluating. Self-evaluation is another important thing. Taking out a journal and keeping notes, other people call it diary, I call it journal. Journaling in and just making notes and things, put dates and times beside those things that you're writing down. And then when you know how to go back and examine your life and see, hey, this didn't work. And then, you know, because it didn't work, don't mean that it will not work. Okay, find the time and the effort to put more energy in it, to put more yourself in it, to put more positivity in it. Get it off the ground, get it working, pour whatever it needs to be poured into it so you can get it fueled up so it can start working. And those things that did work, and you always improve on them to make them even better. Because the more better things become, the more your whole cup is going to run over and it's going to overflow into the lives of so many other people. So you know which self-care works for you, and that is number four. And then number five, as I said a while ago, you examine which things that worked in your past and those things that didn't. You ain't got to throw the baby out with the bathwater. You just got to come in and just got to give them a bath all over again. If it takes 20, 30 baths till it gets clean, you polish up that thing that didn't work and you make it shine just as bright as those things that's been shining in your life in the, past, in, in, in the, in the present or in the past. Now I'm going to tell you. I'm just saying this, but this is just men and it's just women all around the world. I'm telling y'all a cable of anything that you set your mind to. It starts in the mindset now. 
You got to have a positive mind, a positive way of thinking, positive vibes, positive energy. Boy, you see Dr. Destiny, I'm energized. I'm energized, brother. <laughs> they call me the, uh, the treadmill dance size queen. I'm just full of energy because that's the way I live. That's the way I have my mindset set. That there is nothing that I cannot do. Yes, Dr. Destiny makes mistakes at times. Dr. Destiny do not succeed the first time, maybe not the second time, but I'm not going to give up. I've been jumping rope for how long trying to get to a hundred consistent non-stop jumps. I've been on this journey probably for three or four months. I ain't quitting. I'm not going to quit. Every time you see me pull out that rope, I'm still practicing. I'm still working at it to become my best and better version. Become the best at jumping that rope. I'm going to get it too because I'm not going to quit. So we are capable of doing whatever the hell we want to do. All the way around the world, we got people, they are capable of creating things that they never could imagine they could create. So people, create that self-care that's going to build your self to the best and better version of whom you were created to be. Build your self-care so people can see, hey, that, that man sparkle, that woman shining. Oh, my sister got this, queen got this. Oh, look at the king over here. You know, yes, I can learn something from him. Build your self-care so people can see the value, the worth. They can see the love shining out of you, the brightness, all of that. So they can say, you know, I want to be like that. I want my life to be changed for the better. So they can come and want to sit and just, just be up under your umbrella, your power. So you can deposit some of that strong power and, and, and the positivity and that love and that bright light and that sunshine to your lives. You are capable of being whatever you want, but it all starts in your mindset. Let me finish right quick because I'm running out of time. I meant to stay uh, less time. So here are some meantime reminders that you must take care of yourself. Meantime, and you thought that's what we're talking about beaming time. Yes, I have my beaming time, I have my beaming day. This is just me time. This is just me. There's times that we just gotta walk away from everything, everybody, people, family, children. Just for a moment, it's just go away forever. Some of us feel like you want to go away forever. Just like, I'm gonna turn back. But no, just for you to pull yourself into that place where you can find that place of meditation, for you to find that place where you can uh, connect with the divine and higher power, where you can. Uh, Get out in nature. It's the best place you can go. Get out into nature and allow the universe to just feed you, refuel you. Go out there and do some grounding, touching the ground of earth. Go out there touching trees. Draw power and strength from where you were created, from the, 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 the ground. Find that power so you can reconnect with the divine higher power. You need that beaming time. Get out into nature and you find that time, that space, and you find that place where you know that you can connect with the divine higher power. So some meantime reminders would be this. Number one, you deserve better than you know that you do. You deserve a whole lot much better. You better agree with that because you deserve a whole lot much better than you do. Number two, accept yourself. Accept yourself. Love yourself and keep moving forward. Don't let people words don't hold you or stop you or hold you back. Because somebody say, oh, you dumb or you stupid. You're never going to be able to do this. You girl, oh, God, you got to go get some education. Listen, here you got it. Everything you need, baby, is already inside of you. You got the power. He put himself in you. That's the divine higher power. Baby, you got anything that you want. Then you speak to that person within, that spirit within. You speak into your soul, the heart of your spirit. But you don't let people define you. You don't want to tell people. You don't need nobody to tell you oh, what love is. You don't need nobody to accept you for, you know, just accept yourself. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. Value yourself. Treasure the skin that you're in. And then just pull your shoulders up and show you, I got this. And you just keep moving forward. That's number two. Number three, be gentle with yourself. Oh, my goodness. We can be so rough with ourselves. So mean with ourselves, talk down on ourselves, so negative toward ourselves. We want to beat ourselves up, we get frustrated, we want to grab ourselves and shake ourselves up. I mean, we do those things. I mean, like this, I ain't gonna lie, I've been, okay, years ago now, I was in that kind of place. I didn't like who I was, I didn't like the person who I become because I allowed so many people to define me and I was trying to please everybody. You cannot please everybody. And, you, and I was a people pleaser, people please don't ever try that. That's one of the worst mistakes a face you can fall into. And that's what I was. Until I totally lost me. I lost myself. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I was. 
was. I did not know me no more because I become to everything that everybody wanted me to be. And I hate myself and I want to beat myself up. I want to yell at myself. I was angry. I was frustrated. And I don't want you to get there. So be gentle with yourself. Love yourself. Talk to yourself in a nice, loving way. Give yourself some powerful affirmations how wonderful you are, how amazing you are, how strong you are, how wise you are, how intelligent, intelligent you are, how rich you are. Just, just powerful, positive affirmations. Be gentle with yourself. Number four, keep taking time for yourself until you are you again. And sometimes, you know, we just like, we're not patient with ourselves. Well, I worked on this and I did this and ain't gonna see no changes. You're not gonna see any changes till you see beyond the faith. Your faith gonna take you from outside of yourself to way beyond with things that you are never gonna see. So you keep taking time for yourself until you see yourself again, until you gain that what you are after, that, that what you're hungry for. Like right? the Bible says, if you're hungry and thirsty after righteousness, that's what you're gonna get. Have a home and a thirst and a passion so, so strong that, that it's like, I got to eat. <laughs> but keep taking time for yourself. You need that. Take time out for you and love you while you're doing that. Be patient with yourself. And number five, don't apologize for feeling something or some type of way. Oh, you know, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I know, brother. No, excuses too is another thing that will put you out here wrong. Up there on a pole and them by yourself, and when the first little wind blows, your ass gonna hit the ground. So stop making excuses. Excuses just another place to stay in that place where you can never move beyond your comfort zone because you're so comfortable living in that type of place. So stop apologizing. Oh, wait, I made a mistake. No, um, I did this wrong. No, I, I, I should have had more time to take care of this. I should have listened. I should have did what he or she wanted me to do. I should have stayed. I should have stayed. Right here, what they told me I shouldn't go no place. No, people, stop apologizing. You move your butt, you get to where the divine higher power is calling you. It's not about anybody else, it's not even about yourself. First of all, get out of yourself and get out of your feelings, get out of your emotions, get out of that place and always want to try to have that pity game and, and play those games that you make other people feel sorry for you. No, that's the place that you do not want to go. So don't apologize for making these stupid things, just change. It's anything that you don't like about yourself, change it. You have the power within you to change it. Create in me, oh God, a clean heart. And renew your right spirit within me. I don't like the person that I've become, but I want to become all the things that I know you have created me to be. I want to become my best and better version. I want to become my higher and greater self. I know the power is within me to do it because you created me in your likeness, in your image. I got this. And you know that he will never leave you nor will he forsake you because he already promised you that already. So you got to know what he has already predestined you to do. You got to jump out there and take that quantum leap of faith and just do it and stop apologizing and stop getting into your feelings and stop getting into your emotions and stop allowing the negativity and all these negative vibes and negative people and all this negative energy come right here and rob you. That was number five. Don't apologize for feeling something or some type of way. Sometimes we just got to know what the real is real, the real deal. I mean, sometimes we gotta know, okay, just be truthful about it. Yes, I made a mistake. Yes, I, 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 I messed up on this. Yes, I should've put more of myself and more of my time in there, but I'm not gonna leave my feelings. I'm gonna move beyond this. I'm gonna get beyond this because I know there's a greater, uh, uh, there's a greater event, there are, there are greater opportunities, there are greater so many other things that I know he's wanting me to do. And then take time. This is concluding it all. I'm just looking at my time here. Take time to focus on you. Now, did I just say something wrong? Get out of people's business. Get out of people's faces. Get out of here trying to be everybody's uh, best friend and be everybody's uh, savior. That's one thing that we make a mistake. Oh, I can save them. No, save the hell of yourself. Save yourself. 
It's okay to stop and help somebody when they need it, but constantly when you find people that's always coming back to drain you or some more of your time, those energy vampires out there, they're going to suck the life out of you because they did it this time, they did it this time, they gave up everything I had, they gave me every time, every penny they had, they did it third time, the fifth time, and they, you keep doing it, and more and more and more you keep doing it, they're going to come back, those ones that really don't even care nothing about nobody but themselves. They're going to keep coming back and drain you people. They're going to drain you. They're going to take up all your time. They're going to take up all your space. They're going to get in your bubble. They're going to remove you off your focus. And you're going to be able to look to the hill from what's coming to help. And you're going to say, where the hell did my help come? Your help should come from the higher divine power. You're going to be able to sit because you got people all over in your face all the time and taking up your space. So how can the hell you see in that thing? People, let me say, take time out and focus on you. Turn your eyes on you. Turn your eyes on your dreams, your vision, your goals. Turn your eyes on the things that you want to create, the things that you're creating, that business you want to create, that family you want to create, that lifestyle you want to create. You want to go to school. You, you focus that time and you make sure that you're building it, that you do, that you are uh, constructing it. Make sure that you're breathing and blowing fire into it, fanning the flame. And one day, bam, the flame is going to burn, baby, because your focus will turn on what you want. Make sure your focus turn on your needs. You make sure your focus turn on your goals. Make sure your focus is turn on your dreams, people. And most of all, make sure your focus turn on your desires. What do you want? What is your dream? What is your goal? What is your vision? You gotta know all these things. Empower yourself. Encourage yourself, like the Bible said. David got into that in one of his lowest places in his life. All his friends had him gone and walked away from him. David knew that at that point, there ain't nobody around him. I couldn't be able to get me out of this place but myself. So David encouraged himself. So those are the five reminders. You, number one, you deserve better than you know that you do. Number two, accept yourself, love yourself, and then you just keep moving forward. Number three, you just got to be gentle with yourself. Number four, keep taking time for yourself until you are yourself again, until you feel your greater power coming back, until you feel your energy, your positivity, you be yourself. Number five, then you don't apologize for feeling something or some type of way. You don't have to apologize for that. You just make the change, you make the corrections, and you make sure that you improve all those things. Don't lay in those negative feelings, and you just change. Only you can change you. Something that you don't like about yourself, only you can change it. People are out of here. Thank you so much. Men, women, whoever you are, king, queen, whoever you are, sister, brother, this message is for you as well as not so. I'm going to see you guys at the next video. This is Dr. Destiny, Self-Care Matters. And it's important. It is very significant to our lives. And it's not selfish unless you are not pouring whatever that you're receiving with all the greatness that you are gaining, all the opportunities, all the value, all the finances, the money. Honestly, if, you're not getting, if you're not getting it and then you're pouring it out to somebody else, then you're being selfish. It's all about you, 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 then you're being selfish. But taking care of yourself to improve yourself to become better, to become your best and better version, to improve your lifestyle, your health, your fitness, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. If you're not doing that to improve yourself so you can be able to give to someone else, that becomes a selfish place. And we are not a selfish people. Because I'm talking to the best people at the Mr. Two Streets. See you guys in the next video. Namaste. Blessings to you people.